everyone. Welcome to the Making Mommy Move show. So good to have you back here with us. I'm so excited that you're here. Today, we're going to be talking about working mom guilt because I know that I'm not the only one that suffers from this, and I hope that maybe I can shed some helpful tips or at least some ideas and some mindset shifts that can help you to overcome some of those guilty feelings that you're experiencing because at the end of the day, no matter what we're doing, we're going to feel guilty. So let's dive into this a little bit. So one of the struggles that we often experience as moms is feeling like we have to be working, we have to be doing the business, we have to be cleaning the house, we have to be raising the kids, we have to be bringing income into the house. The list goes on, right? Like the laundry needs to be caught up, the dishes need to be done, the bathroom needs to be clean. And at the end of the day, (laughs) We really can't do it all. I know that I talked about this in some of our other episodes about like building your village and relying on them and asking them for help because at the end of the day, if you're trying to do all these things, you physically cannot. You're going to burn yourself out. So one of the things that I usually do is I like to delegate. I like to delegate as much as I can. So one of the goals that I have is to buy and hire a cleaning service this year so that they can keep the house clean, tidy, I want to delegate all of my meal prep so that I can eat healthy and that's one less thing that I have to worry about so that I can prioritize my time so that I can get to the gym and I can build my business and then I can actually like spend time with my kids because if I'm busy cleaning the house and the bathroom and folding laundry, then I'm not having quality time with my kids and that's the most important thing, right? So one of the important things that I think it's important for us to focus on is to find that fire again. Find that center. What motivates you? What inspired you to get out of bed that morning? Are What kind of goals are you working on? Are you hoping to provide for your family? Are you hoping to meet a financial goal? Are you hoping to build something amazing? What kind of goals are inspiring you today? Think back on those. Are you feeling burnt out? Maybe it's time to refocus and re-inspire yourself. Maybe take a break if you need it. If you're like me and you go a million miles a minute, sometimes you do need a break. And during those times, I think it's important to just turn off your phone, go to the park, get outside, do something to get your mind off of things so that you can go to bed, wake up well rested, and hopefully feel re-inspired. If you need a little bit more of a break, maybe schedule a vacation, a staycation, anything that can help you get re-inspired because at the end of the day, if you're not inspired to do what you're doing, you need to find something else or figure out why you're feeling uninspired again. Something else I think is really important to do is to turn your mission into a mantra. So repeat it to yourself every single day. Something that one of my favorite podcasters preach is their power nine. Chris and Lori Harder wake up every morning and they say their power nine. So that's three grateful fours, three excited abouts, and three manifests. So they repeat to themselves every day and multiple times a day the things that they're grateful for, the things they're excited about, and the things that they're going to create in their life. And by doing this every single day, multiple times a day, when they get in the slump, they're able to reinforce to themselves what's important to them, what they're working toward, And what's the end goal? Like what they're manifesting. So for me, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my house that we live in. I'm grateful for my passion and my drive. I'm grateful for my husband. (laughs) I know that's four, but (laughs) count all your blessings, right? Things I'm excited about. I'm excited that Larry's going to be coming full time in our business. I'm excited about all of our opportunity that's coming our way and the abundance that we're creating. And I'm excited about just this community that we're building here at the Making Mommy Move show and on Instagram and our website and everything. If you haven't signed up for our mailing list, go to lyssmorton.com, lissmorton.com and get on the list. Over there, I have a little club that you guys get different kind of information from me, blog posts, updated episodes, exclusive deals, these kinds of things. So that's what I'm really excited about too. And what we're manifesting, like at the end of the day, this is what we're working for. We want to have a life that we love. And what that means is we are only working a max of 12 hours a week. We're able to take any vacation that we want whenever we want. We have businesses that run themselves with incredible staff and team and everything that is working toward the same goal and the same mission. We're manifesting multi-millions of dollars in our bank account and for our lifestyle to create generational wealth for our kids because we don't want them to have to stress like we do. We want them to be able to put their heart into their passion projects and really change the world for whatever purpose that they're trying to create. Something else that we're manifesting is our dream home and our forever home so that we don't have to move a million times in our life that we're 
on our beautiful property. We want to have multiple properties across the country and globally so that we're able to take a month off and go to our home in Costa Rica or home in Hawaii, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, so that we're able to just enjoy and be a family and make memories together. Because at the end of the day, that's what's important is spending time with your family, spending time with the people that make life worth living and doing fun things with them, making memories with them because life isn't forever. Like our point is to make an impact and to really just love what we do. Right? So with all of that in mind, we need to be intentional and purposeful and patient with our kids. So when we're feeling burnt out, uninspired, we're probably a little cranky. (laughs) I know I get that way when I get stressed. I have very little patience sometimes. And at the end of the day, I feel guilty when I'm not patient with my kids. So by taking these steps to try to organize your life a little bit, get yourself re-motivated and re-inspired, you're able to be more patient with your children. Let's think about that. Patience. (laughs) I know I am going through the terrible twos right now. My daughter is a whole new level. We thought that she hit them early and it's worse. (laughs) So things that I'm trying to do is like recenter myself when she starts to be having her tantrum and just goes on forever. So I try to remind myself that she's two. I am the adult. I can control my emotions. She's still learning how to control her emotions. And I need to just give her some love, give her support, and just remind her that this isn't correct. This is why it's not correct. You're not safe. You're going to get hurt. The stove is hot. (laughs) Whatever it may be. And then just give her time to come back to, you know, earth. (laughs) Because it doesn't seem like she's here on earth when she's having those tantrums. So on that same kind of point, when you're present with your kids and more intentional about your time, you're able to make every moment count. So, like I've said in previous episodes, I can't survive without my kids in daycare. And with that in mind, realistically, I only have four hours a day with them when they are in daycare. So I want to make those four hours count. And what that means is I hide my phone. I get them outside. We go to the park. We go watch the boats. We play. We try to eat dinner together as a family. We make it a point to do that. And we do bath time together and bedtime so that they feel a present mommy. They don't feel like mommy's distracted all the time and they feel like they're important because if I'm on my phone, then it's going to feel like they're not as important as my phone. And at the end of the day, they're the most important thing in the world. So I know that it can be tough sometimes when you've worked all day or you're exhausted, you're up until two o'clock in the morning at night building your business. But on that same point of being intentional with your kids and really trying to make memories, we really, really want to make this time count with them. Their time as I know, like, speaking from experience, my now eight-month-old, I blinked and she's a little person. My two-year-old, she, I felt like she was born yesterday and here she is two years old with this big old personality. It goes quick. So we got to make our time count with them even when we're tired. So let's get up in the morning. Let's have a plan for the day of what we want to do. Let's be productive in the morning and carve out time to make memories with them because we don't want to waste it. Keep in mind that you can do anything and that would make a memory. You can go baking. You can go grocery shopping together. You can go shopping together. You can go to the park. You can go watch the boats. You can eat ice cream. You can clean the house together. We try to get our girls involved with swapping the laundry because they're in that phase where they really want to help you. So we're trying to take advantage of that and instill that in them right now. So Lila will help me swap the laundry or blow the dishwasher, like wash the dishes. She loves playing in the water. So I'll let her just splash around in the sink and I'll just mop the floor after (laughs) anything that makes her feel like she's having fun and that she's getting to have fun with mommy and daddy. Those are the memories that they're going to be remembering. And maybe they won't remember it when they're two, but they will when they're four, right? So I think it's important for us to just keep in mind our goals, what we're working for, what our fire is, and maximize our time with our family and our kids. At the end of the day, I know I say this in like every episode, it's all mindset. What kind of limiting belief are you casting on yourself that is limiting your ability to spend time with your kids or to make lasting memories with your family? Your relationship with your children should be one of the most important things in your life. And if you're saying you don't have the time or you don't have the energy, those are all limiting mindsets that are impacting your relationship with your family. So reframe those mindsets and say, I do have energy. I do have the time. My kids are only this little ones. Let me maximize my time with them. Let me maximize my patience with them so that you can create lasting memories. 
So I think that's all for this episode. I hope that that wasn't too heavy for you guys and that you took something away from this. I know that you guys are likely struggling with the working mom guilt. Even if you're not working and you're just home with them or you're not home with them, there's guilt in everything. <laughs> I know I feel it. If I'm home with them, I feel guilty that I'm not being productive and that they're not home with me. I'm guilty that they're not with me. So just try to maximize your time. Try to be as productive as possible and just shift those mindsets because at the end of the day, spending time with your kids is one of the most important things you can have. Feeling fulfilled is also equally important and you need to just do what you need to do. Nobody's going to judge you or they might judge you and it just doesn't matter because they're just casting their own limiting beliefs on you. So that's all for today. Tune in to next week's episode. Sign up on the list. The link is in the show notes so you never miss it. And as always, come make another mommy move with me. Bye.